Train the muscles, not the joints. So welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about a misconception that's constantly happening with back exercises, okay? A lot of times I'll be doing a bent over row and then people will call that the Dorian Yates bent over row. Meaning that they think that the real bent over row, when you're doing bent over rows for back, they think you're supposed to be bent over at 90 degrees of the hip somehow or on an angle. So you basically should be, your upper body should be parallel to the floor, which is absolutely totally absurd to tell you the truth. So a lot of times what people don't understand is that everything is about angles. And when you're pulling on one angle as opposed to another, different muscles are going to be stimulated or, or caused to adapt. So there's a couple things that happen when your upper body is parallel to the floor when you're doing a bit of a row. One is the lower back has to work a lot harder isometrically to hold the form. So instead of your upper back becoming the weak link, a lot of times your lower back will give out long before your upper back does, which again, goes against the weak link principle, right? Whatever gives out first is really what's going to adapt the most. If you want to work your lower back, just do deadlifts. You know, that, that's the whole point, right? If you want to do deadlifts or you do reverse hypers or do uh, hypers or do hyper extensions or something like that. But the bottom line is that the bent over row is for building the upper back. And if you're bent over parallel to the floor, another thing is you'll notice that the bar, because if like imagine my upper body is, is, is parallel to the ground, okay? If the bar is traveling like this, what am I doing? I'm working more my rhomboids and my rear delts and stuff. I'm not pulling with the lats because the lats do this. They take the arm like this and they pull it down and back. That's what the lats do. So it only stands to reason that when you're on an angle and you're pulling the bar back, into the hips, right? Imagine this is the hip. Imagine this is the hip here. And I'm pulling my bar back into the hip. I'm actually working on stimulating those lats. The lats are actually gonna become more the weak link. So this is a big deal. This is, this is a major difference, right? So not only are you able to use heavier weight when you're not totally bent over, but you're also able to stimulate the lats. Now that said, it doesn't mean that there can be no use whatsoever to a parallel upper body when you're doing bent over rows. I mean, there can be some uses for that. Of course, you will work the traps and stuff. And if you're bent over way more, like say somehow you're so flexible, you can maintain that flat back and bend over more so that your shoulders are more towards the ground. Well, yeah, you're gonna start working some lats then. Then it's almost like a lat pull down at that point, right? But I find the parallel to the floor is not the best position for bent over rows if you want to hit the most amount of muscle in your back all at once. Because I find that this is almost like when you're pulling straight back, you're hitting a lot of rear delts and stuff. You're not even necessarily hitting the upper trap as much as you are when you're in this semi bent over position. So this is the reason why I do bent over rows that way. It's not because it's wrong. It's not because it's easier. It's not because I'm trying to cheat. It's just because that is the way to stimulate the most amount of back possible. And you can see from my back results and my back training that, that my back is not my weak link. It's one of my stronger attributes. So uh, just remember this. It's, it's not about a cheat type thing. It's, it's more about what is right. And the results are what speak for themselves, right? If you're getting a result from something, that must be the right way. Now, each exercise, depending on the angle, will give you a different result. This is true. And there will be one ideal angle for the overall development of an area. There, there's gonna be that one angle that's probably gonna be more ideal for one person more than another sometimes. So you have to play around with it. So one mistake I have seen guys do though is that they, they're almost straight up and down. Like when they're doing a bent over row, they're like this. They're only bent over a little bit. Like they're not, it's almost like a shrug. They're not actually doing a bent over row. So you do wanna be bent over at about 45 degrees or so. You, you do wanna have a bend over when you're doing a bent over row. Otherwise it would be called an upright row. I mean, that's pretty much logic, right? Or a shrug. So. Yeah, so that said, I'm not doing bent over rows wrong. I'm just doing it where I can stimulate the most amount of back possible. And I've been getting some extra results lately. I've been doing heavier bent over rows. I've been going to 365. I'm gonna start going to 405 at some point. And I've noticed that I'm getting some extra results. So yeah, watch my back results, man. Some of you guys say I never get results. I actually am getting results. Just not the way you think because you're comparing me to Mr. Olympia or something. I don't, I don't know what you're comparing me to, but the bottom line is I am getting some results with this.
yeah, experiment around, see what the right angle is for you, but don't be surprised if it's not a parallel angle with your upper body. So I hope this helps you out with your training. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you need to get home, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com, and thanks a lot to the Patreon supporters, and take care for now. Thank you.